Good morning, welcome to the Morning JB Show. I am your host, James Borman. And I really hope that the camera picks up and just how beautiful the sky is behind us. Um, so we're Wednesday, 25th of March, and I want to do uh, this morning live feed and talk about... Um, I want you to consider a particular type of mindset through this very difficult time for everybody. Um, <clears throat> and it's a mindset, it's a philosophy, if you like, that um, I'm really implementing in a lot of my coaching programs, i.e. my 28-day program and uh, my mastermind, quite aggressively, in fact. And um, and it's, it's the consideration that you could come out of this situation much better than you when you went in. Now, what I'm seeing a lot of people saying um, before I cull them off my Facebook page, <laughs> and just what I'm seeing in terms of um, a, a, a mindset that seems to be adapted is that this year is written off, which to me is fucking insane, okay? If you're going to let this thing dominate you and say that you're going to write the rest of the year off, okay, you need to be choked out, <laughs> all right? This year, this opportunity for you to come out of this in a much better place, okay, is vast. We're never really going to probably, most likely, go through anything like this in our lifetime again. Touch wood. Now, if you can get through this by sharpening the sword, by showing up, by looking at the opportunities that I talked about yesterday in terms of you can leverage on this time to get yourself incredibly fit, to become incredibly close to your family, to have incredible reflection time about where your life is heading, to have an incredible opportunity, an incredible opportunity to be able to sharpen the sword in terms of your routines, in terms of your structure, in terms of your focus, in terms of your optimism. And if you can do that through something quite as severe as what we're going through, then when we come out of this, nothing is going to really be able to touch you because you're going to have this unbreakable mindset that you still were able to control, be consistent, have clarity throughout one of the most difficult times in our history. So that when we actually go back to normality in say three to four months, you're going to be unstoppable. You are gonna be unstoppable, not only in business, not only in your own personal routine, in your own personal development, your own fitness and health, but within your relationships, your personal development. This is an opportunity, if you are forward thinking, to build some unbelievable pillars in your own mindset and your own character in your own vision, in your own drive, so that when we slip back into that reality, you are a much better version of yourself. Many of us, or many of you watching, will be going through struggles, 100%. My partner's completely lost all work as an animal physiotherapist, so we're only on one income. However, we're coming together better than we've ever come together. We're looking at opportunities better than we've ever looked at any other opportunity. We're more optimistic than we ever have been. And it's about channeling that optimism, that positivity, that strength of mind, that character under adversity. All things that we can all adopt, okay? The all little wins that we can adopt. It's a mentality approach that you can have with the forward thinking that actually when this is done, I'm gonna leverage off all of these points, all of these emotions, all of these routines that I've been going through. And I'm gonna be a much better individual for it. There is no place or no time to be burying our head in the sands, to be adapting a self-pity victim mentality. And I don't mean that everybody is, but there is no time to sit there and feel sad about things. We've got to raise our game. We've got to be 
the leader of our family. We've got to look at the opportunities that we have to grow as an individual. And if we can do that, we can create that positive vibe, that unbreakable feeling that we have. Because it's not about the present moment. It's about thinking about what happens when we go back to normality. If you allow yourself to have that self-pity mode, to curl up into a shell, to not do anything, to not drive yourself forward. Not only do you have to rebuild life in terms of finding work again, building up momentum again, you then have to build yourself up again. And are you gonna do that when you're so empty on trying to build up work again and normal that normality again? Whereas if you come out of the other side of this and you've been working on yourself and you've been doing your fitness and you've been keeping strong and resilient and supporting people, you are already in a good place when we go back to normality. You're ready to attack work, attack business, attack health on another level. And if you can do this confined into your own home with being allowed out once a day, imagine what you can achieve when we go back to normality and you have complete freedom, complete reign to go out and get business and network and keep fit and keep your routine and manage your family. The only way, the only way is to show up every single day. When you don't feel like it, you still show up. It's that state of mind that I want you to approach with the forward thinking is that what happens at the end of this tunnel that we're going through? Forward thinking. And for those that can take advantage of this in terms of growing themselves through this very difficult time, you guys at the very end of this will be ready, battle ready for life, for normality. You've just got yourself through one of the hardest chapters in the history of the world. And you're fucking fired up and you are ready to take on the world when we're done. If you don't, you've got to build yourself back up as well as trying to get back to normality. Just think about that. If we're not growing, we're dying. We can still grow. There are still opportunities here in terms to develop yourself, to get yourself fit, to eat well, to learn, to do more personal development, to be closer to your children and your wife, to adapt and adapt and overcome mentality. Show up 1% every single day. Do not let this fucking thing dominate you. You are just restricted by your movements. Some of us are struggling in terms of jobs, but you can still get through it with the right attitude and the right mindset. I always like to look at things as, what's the alternative? What's the flip 180 if I don't? Well, I could sit at home feeling sorry for myself, keep watching the news 24 seven, seeping that negativity and going 1% the wrong way. Fuck that. Life is too short. I've got another 50 years. In the grand scheme of things, the next three to four months compared to the next 50 years is nothing and we get through it and we must support everyone else around us doing that. And this is just my little part in doing it. Some people will like it, some people won't, but if you do like it and it does suit you, adapt that mentality. You're forward thinking. How am I coming out of this at the end? What do I need to do through these next three to four months to come out of this at the other end stronger? Unbreakable more focused, much better version of myself. And that's what I want you to think about and reflect on and consider. All right, guys, stay safe out there. Keep up morale, bring up people around you. Make sure you're connecting virtually online with all the family um, and just stay safe. Take care, love you.